It is the 22nd of June and usually I would associate this time of the year with very cold winters in South Africa uh, but I'm not in South Africa I've actually taken a journey to the northern hemisphere and I am in Sweden at the moment and uh, what you're seeing around me is a little town called Mariestad in the middle of Sweden on the edge of a big lake uh, last night was actually the summer solstice it was the longest day of the year and tomorrow night is midsummer's eve so I came at a good time to experience the Swedish summer and although the skies are quite grey today if you look behind me here we have a beautiful old Swedish town um, to look through that's very very different to the big city of Stockholm in many ways you've seen Stockholm on this channel but today we're gonna uh, head into Mariestad for an hour or two and see what this town has to offer let's go do it I'm busy walking uh, through one of the little harbour areas over here and uh, true story a few months ago when I was here this little harbour area here was completely frozen um, obviously most of these boats had been taken out but that big boat where is it now there behind me that big boat was completely uh, stuck in the ice it couldn't go anywhere um, and there were little kids throwing rocks onto the ice and seeing if they could crack it and this lovely boom noise echoing up and down the ice it's really nice to actually see the contrast between Sweden in summer and winter because um, in South Africa where I live we get summer and winter but we don't really get seasons like you do here um, winter's just cold summer's hot but we've got evergreen trees so we don't see the, the different colors throughout the year um, and it's not quite as hectic as as this far north where you get the uh, really warm summers lots of green trees long days and then obviously the cold snowy winters so it's really cool to see the contrast we're about to come to the most well-known uh, part of Marostad and that is this beautiful big church behind me here let's try and get that in without giving me a double chin <laughs> it's a very cool church building which as far as i understand is it may be the oldest church in sweden i'm not 100 sure but i know it's one of the oldest um, so i'll obviously put some more information here as we go through the the cutaway footage um, but it just stands out above everything else it's uh, it's massive it's it's beautiful and um, there's a really well-kept garden all around here uh, which in the winter looked really bland and boring but in the summer looks really cool so let's get some more information on that church shall we I think I may have mentioned it in one of my other vlogs but um, for those of you who don't know South Africa is not a very old country in terms of the infrastructure um, the houses that were built in South Africa were only built within the last 200 years or so so we do not get to see very very old buildings so to come to Europe especially somewhere like Sweden which wasn't affected much by uh, the wars nothing was really destroyed in the wars uh, we get to see these incredible old uh, buildings for the first time and it's kind of mind-blowing for us so um, yeah keep that in mind if you want to visit South Africa you don't come to South Africa to see infrastructure or buildings you come to South Africa to see natural beauty and very friendly people and trust me you'll see both of those things hope to see you there one day another true story and I'm not even joking last time I was here it was winter and I tried to climb down this flight of stairs and they were frozen solid and I ended up slipping and falling and there were one or two cars driving past and they just laughed at me <laughs> but that's what happens when you put a uh, South African in the ice or in the snow we are not used to those weather conditions so we just fall and hurt ourselves and we become the, the laughing stock of the town <laughs>
this is a lakeside town um, and when you, you think lake you, you don't think of a, a massive uh, piece of water generally generally lakes aren't huge but if you look behind me over here you see a landmass over there at the back and at first you think that's the other side of the lake but then you take a look at Google Maps or Google Earth and you realize that that is just an island that's kind of conveniently situated quite close to the side of the lake so I'm guessing that uh, people who own boats here um, often spend time out on the lake because it's quite sheltered because of the island in fact that's probably why the town was built in the first place well, I know it's been a rather short video, but I've only got an hour and a half or so to actually explore this place. I'm very much focused on work right now, which is unfortunate, but at least we get to take the camera and, uh, and I get to show you guys what I see. Uh, it's very, very cool. That's the town of Mariestad, Sweden. I hope you enjoyed it. And next up, we've got Stockholm. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.